What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another very, very exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Okay, check this out guys. This is something that has been in the works for about a year. We'll call it a year since last year's Bassmaster Classic, all right? So huge, huge shout out to Gene, aka Fluke Master, and to Scott, okay? I'm gonna link their stuff down in the description below, all right? Please, please, please go check them out because they made this happen. Let's, uh, let's rewind to last night. Uh, the workhorses right here. All right, Gene, what are you? You guys know how much I appreciate this, right, Gene? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off, and I'm gonna help these guys. I will be back with you guys shortly. Yep, that's right, ladies and gents. We have a bona fide kayak now. Thank the Lord. Okay, uh, thank you, Fluke. And thank you, Scott. I greatly, guys. Again, I know you're watching this right now. I, I literally, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, I can't. Uh, completely changed the game right here. I right? completely changed changed it all up. All right now, I can go get in these canals and I can go get on these lakes and and I can feel confident in in what I'm using and the gear I'm using. That, that's a lot of what it is, guys. It's, it's just confidence in what you use. And I was nervous and I was scared to be in that type of situation in the kayak that I had. Now I've got the Bonafide Kayaks SS127, okay? So what I'm going to do today, I'm just going out fishing with it, okay? I'm just going to go out fishing. I'm going to get a good feel for it. I'm not going to do any kind of review type video on it today. That will be to come because I'm so new in this kayak. I literally, this is the first video I've ever taken this kayak out, okay? And I want my thoughts and opinions uh, to be, you know, correct. I don't, I don't want... Uh, I guess I could do like an initial impressions type video, you know, something that something that I did uh, a while back with the kayak I used to have. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and, and re-spool up. I got my I got my reel right here. I gotta I gotta re-spool up my uh, my frogging rod, guys. It is 79 degrees here today in in South Florida in Jupiter. It is 79 degrees, and look, it's beautiful outside. So I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped to get this thing out on the water. I'm going to retie this really quick, load everything up, get ready to go, head out there, and then hopefully uh, go out there and, and catch a couple fish. They should be in like a pre-spawn phase, uh, phase right now. Uh, they honestly, they should be locked on beds next week or the week after. I mean, I mean, it's going to be very soon. And, and we're in like the beginning of February, guys. This is crazy. Anyways, look, check it out. So I was going to have Gene do this the other day, right? I was going to have him ask uh, the question of the day. If you're new here to the channel and you've never, uh, you know, you don't know what a question of the day is, uh, on this channel right here, I like to ask a question of the day every single day before every single video because I like to get to know you guys. I like for you guys to get to know me. Uh, I've asked a lot of really good questions here uh, as of recent, and I've got a lot of really awesome, awesome answers from you guys in the comments below. So I greatly appreciate that. So basically, anyways, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to ask a question. You're going to answer it down in the comments below. And then uh, the question that I ask, my answer will be below as well. So with that being said, guys, the question of the day today in today's episode, the question of the day is, what is your favorite, your absolute go-to favorite on the water snack? Okay, so when you're out on the water, you're fishing, whether it be in a boat, the bank, kayak, uh, deep sea, doesn't matter, anything. What is it that, what's your munchie? What is it that you have to have to eat? Uh, I'll let you guys know my answer down in the comments below. I'm anxious to hear your guys because uh, I might try some of your guys out. I'm always down for that. So anyways, look, I'm gonna get all this loaded up. I'm gonna retie my frogging rod, get a couple things set up in the truck, and I will see you guys on the water. So we are out here, finally, on the Bonafide SS-127. Uh, I'm gonna get, I got a few more things to do to this kayak to like get for it. Uh, one of them being a, a GoPro uh, stick. That way you guys aren't looking up at me. I don't like this angle right here. But uh, guys, we're just out here fishing today. That's all, we're just out here, you know, riding in the kayak for the first time, just fishing. And like, just look at this. Like, you guys obviously can't see my face, but like this kayak's not going anywhere. This is crazy. This is like super, super stable. So we're actually gonna we're gonna bust the move. We're gonna go a little further that way. The wind is kind of barely blowing today. I'd imagine if I'd guess it's somewhere at like maybe five miles an hour. Not consistent, so we're not super worried about it. So a couple things I need for this kayak. I need a, a GoPro stick. I need a new paddle. I don't know if I want to retire the old uh, Sunkist yet. I don't know if I want to retire my, 
my PFD. I love my PFD. No, but on a serious note, a uh, new PFD. So those are three things. And then a milk crate. A milk crate to carry tackle and stuff like that that I can put behind me. Because right now all I got is my bag. So yeah, let's uh, let's get up here on the other side of the lake. And uh, let's see if we can catch fish. All right, so we've been out here for a little bit already. Haven't caught anything yet. But uh, a couple of things that I'm going to that I can already notice about the kayak. The room, the storage, the comfortability, and the movement, okay? Now this is, a, this is a, basically it's a 13 foot kayak, all right? It's super stable, I can stand on it, I can stand on one foot on it, uh, I can put one foot on the side right here and then one foot back here. Um, it's easily, it's more easy to maneuver than I thought it would be. Now the wind does grab this one a little more than my other kayak, but my other kayak is, two and a half foot smaller than this and it's a sit in and you know this is a sit on so i've got storage everywhere like this little compartment right here this is dry storage right here i'm gonna break my reel that's dry storage so i got like my phone pliers scale stuff like that i've got a slide out box right here compartment box right so i've got just random things in here right now slide this the seat moves up and down okay so scott was telling me yesterday that he prefers to seat all the way up uh, I think I will as well as soon as I get a longer paddle. But with me having a, a shorter paddle right now, it's more beneficial for me to sit with the seat lower. Uh, you know, it's got foot rest on it right here. You can slide those back and forth. The There's a compartment you guys can't see. I'll show you here in a little bit, but it's directly behind where you're sitting right now. Uh, and Scott and, and Gene, Fluke Master, uh, they put 17 rods in this kayak. So it's got storage basically inside of the kayak. They put 17 rods in here the other day. It's that's insane, guys. That's crazy. Uh, I've seen guys that have full Yeti coolers on the back, full of ice, full of drinks and food. Uh, so, right off the rip, guys, my you know first impressions are like I mean this is just I don't think there's another kayak on the market better than this one in this price range. Okay, now it's not pedal driven. I could be wrong, but I think there is a possibility to, to take your dry storage out, your dry box, and put pedals in it. I think you can do that. You know, don't quote me on that because I'm, I'm new to the whole bonafide thing. Uh, but I will find that out for you guys, and I'll let you know for sure if you can do that. Or if you've already got a bonafide, let me know. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you can. You know, that is something you can do. I don't necessarily need a pedal kayak. I watched a video a while back from my, my buddy Alex that lives down in uh, the Miami area, and he did a – basically, it was – situations you need a pedal versus paddle and i felt personally like a paddle would fit my needs more than a than a pedal kayak would but anyways guys enough talking for me i'm here in this thick nasty stuff right now and i'm going to be throwing around this uh this is that rage bug from strike king i did a, a video the other day i paired this up with a jig uh, to show you guys what it looked like basically as a jig trailer but i'm going to just punch it through this stuff right here right now i'm kind of nervous because i've got 15 pound test and this stuff is thick probably should be rocking uh, about 20 pound uh, 17 to 20 pound but hey we're gonna make it work for lose the fish lose the fish that's the name of the game anyways bottom line is guys this kayak off the rip there's gonna be a more in-depth review coming trust me believe me on that okay but as of right now and the time I've been out here on this lake today two thumbs up for me all right anyways let's get to fishing boys nothing productive right there so there's actually a, uh, a hotel right here it's got waterfront access, so what I'm gonna do is they got a pretty decent sized dock. I'm gonna go flip flip that uh rage crawl, whatever that thing's called. I'm gonna go flip that around these docks and see. So there's actually also peacock bass in this lake right here because this lake is basically the center of a canal, okay? It's just a really big portion of a canal. So like I can see the bottom in some places, not like right here, but on this side I can. So it's generally shallow. And the water is pretty cold, but I, when it starts to warm up, I would say another two weeks or so when the water actually starts to warm up. It's 78, 79 degrees right now, but when the water gets warm, those peacock bass, uh, to my knowledge, what I've been told from people that live down here and stuff like that, they, they said when it warms up, the peacock bass are going to uh, really, really start biting again. I actually just saw something jump right there. It's pretty shallow. I just can't see what it was. But, uh, so one thing that I want to mention to you guys really quick is in my other kayak, I was terrified to get out in water like this because I'm terrified of gators, right? That other kayak just, 
um, I would have freaked out. But this one, I, I just feel not saying it changes the, the situation any. Because if I see a gator, I'll just say, I'm not going to mess with you. Stay away from it. But uh, I just feel so much safer in this kayak. Like, I, it's Maybe it was just a mental thing. Maybe not. I mean, it's I can tell you right now, this kayak is 100 times more stable than the one that I had. But let's go ahead and get over here to these docks and see if we can capitalize on maybe a couple fish. Maybe. It's a train. Well, I didn't see anything over there by the docks. So, wife just called, said it's time to go grocery shopping. I'm going to wrap this up. There's one more spot, like this little cove type deal that I want to hit before I head out, but I definitely got some good information today. So, there are beds made, and I did see fish, but I couldn't tell what kind of fish they were. The water's not necessarily murky, but kind of stained, and it honestly, it looked too light too light of a color to be a large mouth <clears throat> for this area usually the the largies out you know here in south florida uh they're they're pretty dark most of the time so anyways we're gonna make our way to this cove and uh hopefully at least see something else it's it's always good even though i didn't catch fish today if you guys you know have for example let's say one day you guys don't really have enough time to fish your favorite spot and you're walking the bank or something like that usually like just run by really quick you know spend five minutes just walk around the bank really quick and just see what the fish are doing because this today tells me that they're uh they're about a week away from actually being locked on so good information to know did a little scouting today got to try out the bona fide for the first time guys i'm gonna tell you right now this kayak is so stable like just look at it look how fast it can stand up like I can paddle while I'm standing up. I know you guys are like looking at my knees right now, so sorry about that. But I can paddle while I'm standing up. Like it's literally no issue whatsoever. So anyways, I'm gonna get over here to this cove really quick. Try to see what we can do over there. And then uh, we'll load up and head back home. Go grocery shopping. All right guys, so it is the very next day. Uh, I forgot to do an outro when I got home. So here's the outro. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside today. So I'm about to go fishing right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first, uh, I guess if you will, initial impressions of the of the Bonafide SS-127. So far, I love the kayak. I love it. I am actually planning to get out on it again later this week and go fish some saltwater flats. So that way, I, you know, I'll be able to let you guys know how it does in the saltwater, like compared to the freshwater. And and uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff playing fish out of the kayak. But anyways, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna in this because I'm, I'm literally going fishing right now anyways thank you again for watching guys i appreciate every last one of you don't forget if you're new here to the channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button turn the notification bell on all right make sure you get notified every single time i upload a video with all that being said guys thanks again for watching catch y'all next time